Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm showing you my 96 Cobra. And if you got a car like this, you know it's a real challenge to drive normal and not do stuff like this. <laughs> Six was the first year Mustangs went from 5.0 to a 4.6 liter which bumped the horsepower nicely this Cobra made about 300 horsepower same torque the 5.0s were greatly underpowered GTs and even Cobras the base GT in 96 made more power than the 5.0 Cobra in 95. SVT means a uh, special vehicle team which was started back in the 90s. When Ford started making Fox body mask tanks in the 80s everybody was like what the heck those are so ugly but eventually it started growing on them and people started liking them and I think same with this one when this came out SN95 in the 90s people just I think didn't like it I think it used to be ugly and actually same with me I didn't like the way these look before but eventually me same as the fox body and uh, throw yourself some nice wheels on this lower in an inch or two and you got yourself a nice sports car put a nice beefy exhaust on it and you get yourself a nice juicy muscle car that sounds awesome one of the things that i love about these sn95s and the new age mustangs is their size compared to a modern muscle car these are way smaller way more agile i would think a few months ago i had a 2015 mustang gt sitting in my driveway next to this cobra and the size difference is just big enormous you can this one just so much smaller and uh i think that's how it should be sports cars shouldn't be big and fat they should be nice compact agile like this a few best things about this car that i would name is uh of course the v8 the sound the exhaust it's got a solid axle in the back so you can do so much more stuff with this and it's got a lot of low end torque so just from the lower pms you step on it and it just goes all the power is there on tap cheap replacement parts so if something breaks you can go to any your auto parts store o'reilly anything it's all there the, some of the crappy things about this car because i had a couple of these old mustangs and uh, i think paint is a big issue they just peel or start cracking or just not good paint jobs it seems like suspension components suck on these two ball joints bushings all the kind of stuff just wears out super fast i would guess because of the low end torque plastic interior sucks too the design is kind of cool i like the the retro look and the dash but all the plastics crack break rattle vibrate when you drive i noticed the fuel tank sensors on these not accurate a lot of times like for example if it shows you you got a quarter left it's gonna run out of gas so i usually uh, hits metal or less i just usually fill it up just in case i had done a couple of different mustangs this era seats are junk i think these are the worst seats i ever seen in a car i went through thousands of cars and these got the worst seats they just sit so high there's no way to lower them if you lower them that's 
the lows they go is still super high. I'm short about 5'7 and I still on the stock seat I'm almost touching the roof with my head. Of course you gotta get a aftermarket seat if you try planning to keep one or drive one comfortably. Clutch is super stiff which is fine. Shifter just sucks. Original shifter sucks you just gotta get a replacement if you're gonna drive one of these cars. I think it's so cool that these Mustangs have so many special editions like the Bullet, Celine, Shelby, GT500, 350, Kelly Special, SVT, Anniversary Specials, Boss, Laguna Seca, Mach 1, Roush, and I'm not even talking about the pace cars and the Indy cars specials, and the list goes on. If you're a die-hard Mustang fan or a collector, you got your work cut out for you. It's going to keep you busy trying to hunt all these down. I wouldn't mind myself picking up a Terminator, especially in the Mystic Chrome color, or a New Edge Saline. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Uh, help this channel grow so I can bring you more car stuff like this. See ya.